All right, we're just uh, quickly going to go straight into uh, today in history. Uh, this day in uh, 2013, uh, the 21st of September, was a very, very sad day um, across the world, you know, but mostly in Kenya. Mm -hmm. It has become popularly, uh, popularly known as the Westgate West Shopping Mall Attack, Mall attack uh, where about 70 plus people were killed on this day when Al Shabaab terrorists attacked the mall. Um, it says about 68, I believe, um, you know, civilians were killed, four terrorists and a couple of also, uh, th those numbers also include um, uh, some of the police uh, men who went in to help rescue these, um, you know, victims of a terrorist attack. Um, of course, uh, the Al-Shabaab terror group, that was that, uh, for me, was the first one that I heard about them, um, claimed responsibility for the attack and said it was mostly because of Kenya um, and Kenya's efforts in Somalia um, that have continued to attack the group where they were originally, I believe, founded. Um, it was a very, very sad, day, uh, sad you know, moment um, that lasted for almost 24 hours um, where, of course, um, you know, there were also bombs that were thrown, grenades were used, a part of the mall also collapsed. Um, some of the people were all taken hostage for so long and, of course, summarily executed by these terrorists before they were completely, before they were eventually killed. Um, and of course, uh, the Kenyan government did go ahead with the investigation, arrested a couple of people uh, that were accomplices, you know, mm -hmm. who had ha housed uh, the terrorists um, before they went on to carry out the attacks. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if anybody has been sent to jail in particular. I, I need to confirm that. Uh, but yeah, it was a very, very sad day in Kenya. Um, and across Africa. Yes. Yeah, so th this particular event was was considered one of the deadliest jihadist attack in Kenya. Um, reports say that these terrorists occupied the Westgate Mall for four days. I mean, can you just imagine? And the, the fact that soldiers who went in there to, to provide help and rescue also turned out to be victims. Um, three people were pointed out as suspects. Um, two of them got prison sentences. One got 18 years in prison. Another one got 33 years in prison. And the third guy... Accomplices now. Yes, the third okay. guy, yes, they were accused of aiding, aiding the, yeah. the Islamist sect. Um, the third guy went missing. You know, it was just a very, very sad day. This Al-Shabaab group based in Somalia, really accusing Kenya of meddling in, in, in the affairs in Somalia, and then, you know, carried out this attack. The exact number of casualties are still undetermined. Some say over 70. Um, BBC reports say 67. But it really about 200, is... 200, I think. It also is about 150 to 200 were injured. I mean... Um, it's just so terrible. But, but the good thing is that um, th this attack happened um, September 21st, about a month later, October 20th. Um, that was when, you know, this, these guys were sentenced to 18 and 33 years in prison. But I, I don't think it's something anyone will forget in such a hurry. No, no, no. Across the world, I think it made, it made headlines across the world. Pretty much the same thing with the London, bomb, London bombing, uh, the attack in France. Yes, there are certain events, terrorist attacks that you know have made headlines across the world, and everybody followed uh, through. Um, the, Fr the France one, the um, 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 uh, Australian shooting, also the London bombing, of course, world, uh, the World Trade Center um, attacks, also. There's many of them uh, like that, but this one definitely made those headlines um, across the world, and it happened on this day in Kenya in 2013. Our first major conversation for today comes up right after this break. We're going to be talking zoning and how, you know, this all plays out with the next general elections. There's already been conversations from the Northern Coalition, Northern Forums. Uh, the Middle Belt also has been urged to also have the SA. The Southeast very likely also would be chipping in here. And we'll be talking about the little details here and there when we come back. <laughs> 